This is old Cam. Oh, hi everybody. This is not a spring chick, and we're excited because this is one of my favorite holidays of the year. Well, yeah, because actually <laughs> her birthday is before and my birthday is after. So. <laughs> Yippee! It's the Fourth of July. And, and she got great big birthday presents coming for this yes, birthday yes. and Fourth of July. So. But, so I'm really excited. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, uh, basically. Independence Day, commonly known as the 4th of July, is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, declaring independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. Yippee! So, see, part of it is what we're doing today is, we, you know, if you've been following us, you know that every holiday that comes up, major holiday, we sit there and talk about the origins, the history, how we're celebrating it, etc. And we have watched it change over time. Yeah, the change is because... Uh, uh, history books are being rewritten. Well, later this year, I simply tell you, remember, guess who was in that movie? Really? You were? I got to play a, I, I, I see, what was my that movie? Ray, that was, oh, I was one, I was one of the kids in the movie, so, which means nobody paid attention to me. I didn't dance. So, that's my, that was my different thing for this year. But, uh, to say, you know, you know, and I think that that's the only thing oh, we can go, it's a grand old flag. <laughs> you know, I think that's about That's that. about all you can see. Right? Or you can go, I, he's a Yankee little dandy, born on the 4th of July. It's like, name that tune. That's, maybe that's why they never did more bars. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what you Put a feather <laughs> in his hat, they call it macaroni. <laughs> Anyway, I know we're getting a little silly. Okay, okay. more serious stuff. Well, the Fourth of July. Brand new written... glasses for her, yes! for her birthday. Yes, we yes. delivered on her birthday. I know they didn't know it was going to be my birthday either. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm uh, so excited. Independence okay. Day is commonly associated with fireworks, parades, barbecues, carnivals, fairs, picnics, concerts, baseball games, family reunions, political speeches. It's an election year. I know. You can tell I'm out. You know. In addition to, she also just got. We just ate really well. <laughs> Independence oh, Day is the yes. national. Uh, Independence Day is the national day of the United States. And there you go. We got the next part where she can do. Oh, and during the American Revolution, remember that it happened what, like in 1776? Yes, the legal separation of the 13 colonies from Great Britain. Yeah, remember, and it actually occurred yeah. on July 2nd. And remember though, it's it's that movie that uh, the gentleman that runs the Screen Actors Guild was the star of playing Jefferson. What? He, you know, in 1776. Oh yes, um, but actually, I didn't realize the legal separation was on July 2nd, which was my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> but I was not born in 1776. Although if I did, I. Pretty good for my age. I right? met Ronald Reagan for the first time in 1776. Really? Yeah. Oh. He was. He, he taught George Washington and everything. You know, as I remember, he said that when George was a young boy, I was his teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when really? Yeah. He was old, just oh. like me. And when the Second Continental Congress voted to approve a resolution of independence that had been proposed in June by Richard Henry. Leah, Virginia, declaring the U.S. independent, or the United States at that point. Richard the Henry, States. also known as Light Horse Henry Lee, the father of uh, Robert E. Lee. And was it was it Richard Henry, the name of your dad's horse? Uh, my, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> A little bit of trivia. You know, my, my father's horse was Patrick Henry. Oh, Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> he he drank a lot, that horse did. And after voting for independence, Congress turned its attention to the Declaration of Independence. A statement explaining this decision, which had been prepared by a committee of five, with Thomas Jefferson as its principal author. Congress debated and revised the Declaration, finally approving it on July 4th. Yeah, remember, this is what the President of the United States was, it is not relevant because it was written by a bunch of old white guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's not relevant to the people of the day's time. Those were the country's leaders at that time. <laughs> they didn't have Afro-Americans at that time. They, and so you Well, could, actually, at that time, the African-Americans were... Business people. Yeah. Business owners, farmers. Uh, you Depends know, whether they were from the north or from the south. In the south, they had business people, farmers. There's a, they also had the slaves. 
Who? So, okay, here's one Flip Wilson used to make fun of the fact. He said, I don't go to those southern places. Mm. They, they say, why? Because my daddies, daddy daddies used to sell those people to those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and it's typically the people like like the Chinese did that. The Chinese sold the the Chinese. Well, the kings right? of the region would just sell off. They conquer somebody and then they sell them off to make money. That's how it worked. They that's did. that's like old time. That's like it. That's not new. Well, actually, they still do it today. Slavery is still a big thing. Oh. You know, they like to sell women. She, she's safe because she's Asian. <laughs> if she was blonde hair, she and. Caucasian Blonde hair and Caucasian, Caucasian in certain parts of the world, yes. Yeah, well, she wouldn't be wearing this suit book that either, so. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Again, the second day of July, so, okay, a day later John had to be written to his wife, Abigail. Mm -hmm. That was, um, the second day of July, 1776, will be the most memorable, that is memorable, epoch in the history of America. I am apt to believe that we celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. I ought to be, it ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, illuminations from one side of this con to the other from this time forward, forever after. That's what John Adams wrote. John Adams has never stopped writing. You yes. ever see the Adams Chronicles, folks? Oh, really? I, and that's what he wrote his wife out of y'all at the time. Yeah, I, I got to play, I got to play a soldier in that, in, in that thing. And guess what side I was with? Oh. It wasn't the revolutionary forces. Well, his prediction was pretty close, but it was off by two days because instead of celebrating on the second from when they had, what when they declared their independence, right? Is that what it said up there? Yeah. Um, they did it on the fourth of July, which is when they signed it, In right? July. And that's when Congress approved the final official document, having voted to declare the independence. Well, that's the day they put their necks on the chopping block. Before that, they were still. They, you know, they were at war, but they'd have forgiven them because they were the leaders of the country. The day they put their names, let's say, the day they put their John Hancock on things was the day they committed uh, yeah, uh, treason. They considered treason, right? They considered treason, yeah. So some of the names that were involved, which most of you are familiar with, is Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin. Um, but they all later wrote that they had, that they had also signed on that day. Yeah. However, most historians have concluded that the Declaration signed nearly in a month after its adoption, on August 2nd, and not on July 4th, as is commonly believed. Uh, really? Uh, Where did that come from? Uh, I have a revisionist thing here, folks. So what did they do? Oh, I was like... Oh, no, it did, I, you, okay. She gets shocked every time I bring one of these new Be, things Because, out. see, part of it is, is we've been doing this every year since we started. Yeah. And that was something, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I, 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 I know because they've revised history. You have to understand who is in control of the school systems in the United States. It's not the people that think the Founding Fathers were great and that they were that they were prepared yeah, to sacrifice their lives. It's like it's the other side of books. I know, but why is... It's the way it works. You know, you know it's like, why is it important that the date changes? I guess, you know, dates are important because we're celebrating dates. Um, but is, is the purpose, are they trying to change the 4th of July? They, they're wanting to make it irrelevant because, it, well, you don't even know when it would really happen, so therefore it's not, there's no uh. reason to teach. You only teach in school what you can verify, and if they say that you can't verify it, they just toss it out. Oh, interesting. Remember, our school See? systems don't teach the Revolutionary War period anymore. They start at the time of, um, uh, after this, I think, after the Civil War is when they now start teaching history. Oh. So, in a remarkable coincidence, both John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, the only signers of the, the Declaration of Independence that later served as president, um, died on the same day. Oh, really? Yeah. July 4th, 1826, which was the 50th anniversary. Did, did they both have natural causes on the same day? <coughs> yeah, but they were the old men, folks. I mean, they're. They were they were about the same age as I am, and you did not live to be that old. But it's were. odd that they died. But no, on they the said same. what happened is the death of one triggered the death of the others. Which actually can be seen on in really close friends. Because they. Um, but I, that was the same day. Wow. I know. That my boy was something I said. Uh, my greatest friend and my greatest enemy has wow. died, and I have nothing left to live for. And then he succumbed. Oh. That was it because the the find that the. the then knowing that somebody that they'd been all their life had known, they were talking Jefferson and Franklin, I mean Jefferson and Adams, Adams had known one another since they were in their early 20s, for like six, you know, 60 years. 
Wow. Even though they were political enemies, they were also, uh, you know, when you know somebody, you basically are basically getting ready to well, die with that person, so. Yeah, and then another person, which was a founding father, but he wasn't a signer of the Declaration, which was James Monroe. The Monroe Doctrine? Yeah, and he was also president. He also died on July 4th, but not on the, in the same year. It was July 4th, 1831. Yeah, but Calvin Cooley's the 30th president, which is the relative of Orson Bean, folks. Was, remember, Dr. Queen Medicine Woman yeah, was born on the 4th of July. But see, the other thing that was odd is there were three presidents in a row who died on the 4th of July. Yeah, that's kind of, that's yeah. Kind of not, not a great day for presidents in those mm -hmm. time periods. They were also all old men. I mean, they were hanging on, um, basically, mm -hmm. I got to find this one, so, uh, here we go, um, basically in 1885 at Independence, um, basically at 1825 invitation to an Independence Day celebration, then in 1777, 13 gunshots were fired in salute, one, in mor one at morning and one again at evening, mm -hmm. uh, and on July 4th in Briscoe, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, celebrated his first anniversary in the manner. Basically, to find familiar, an official dinner for the Continental Congress, 13 gun salutes, salute, speeches, prayers, music, parades, troop reviews, fireworks, ship for a death with red, white, and blue body. I mean, <clears throat> I was there for the 200. It was really great. Were you really? <laughs> that must have been really cool. Where they blew the Defense Department's budget, filing off <coughs> weapons. And they really wanted to do it better than what they did. But they that did. must have been really cool, though. Yeah. I mean, really, really cool. You have to understand, um, that was the year I, I got, I, I actually got married in 1976. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow. So. That's a memorable year. That's right. Yeah. That's and married. in 1778, General George Washington marked jo the 4th of July with a double ration of rum for his soldiers. And a cannon salute. Right, here we go. Da 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 you might as well celebrate. You celebrate it. I have nephews, I have nephews studying in England, and they're preparing to do fireworks and stuff on where they're at, which pisses the English off the no police. Oh, you know, part of it is you're not, and we're actually going to get to the, well, actually, we'll get to the celebrations in a minute, right? Okay. So in 1779, the 4th of July fell on a Sunday, so they actually celebrated the holiday on Monday, July 5th. Um, and in 1781, the Massachusetts General Court became the first state legislature to recognize July 4th as a state celebration. It took that long, 105 years for for the state? And, wow. Uh, and well, actually, seven, that was the same same oh. century. That was oh. seven. That was oh, wait, one. okay, I'm, I'm like, okay, that so was eight eight one. Okay, five years later. I was thinking of a different decade. And you're getting okay. ready, though. I know. No, <laughs> getting, uh, in 1783, Monrovians in San Francisco. Salem, North Carolina, held a celebration on the 4th of July with a challenge in music program assembled by John Fred Johan. 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 Fred Johan. Fred Johan. Fred Johan. Fred Peter. Peter. His work was called The Song of Joy. In, 19, in 1791, the first recorded use of the name Independence Day occurred. Oh. You know, that was long before it was. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha